Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to look at the popliteal artery and the patellar network. Now, the popliteal artery is a direct continuation of the femoral artery. So if we now follow the femoral artery and look from this perspective behind the knee, you will see that the artery runs very superficially through the popliteal fossa to the popliteal muscle, where it ends by dividing into two terminal branches. And these are the anterior and the posterior tibial arteries. Along its course, the popliteal artery gives off six side branches for the patellar network and the superficial muscles of the posterior group of the lower leg. The first two are the superior medial and the superior lateral genicular arteries, which winds around the medial and lateral condyle of the femur to supply the knee with blood. And since we have superior arteries, we're also going to have inferior medial and inferior lateral genicular arteries, which winds around tibia and fibula to supply the knees. And then there's the middle genicular arteries. It pierces the articular capsule, enters the articular cavity and supplies the ligaments, meniscus and the synovial folds of the knee. The last artery the popliteal artery give off are the sural arteries, which descends and supply the uh, triceps sura muscle. Now that was all for the side branches of the popliteal artery. Overall, the popliteal artery and its branches provide an arterial supply for the knee joint and the leg. Now let's go ahead and cover the patellar network, or the rete articulare genu in Latin. First, the superior and the inferior medial and lateral genicular arteries will anastomose like this. Then there's the descending genicular artery, coming from the femoral artery, if you remember this one. As it goes down, it immediately divides into two branches. One, called the saphenous branch, which joins the medial inferior genicular artery and helps with the collateral blood flow of the knee. And another one called the muscular or articular branches. There are actually a lot of branches which contribute to, which also contribute to the knee joints. So that's these. Then remember that the lateral femoral circumflex artery divides into three branches, the ascending, transverse and the descending branch. The descending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery will go down and contribute to the patellar network on the lateral side. Then from the inferior side, the anterior tibial artery will give off two branches called the anterior recurrent tibial branch uh, from the anterior side and a posterior recurrent tibial branch which emerges right before the anterior tibial artery reaches the anterior side, as you see here. Uh, these two arteries will, will contribute to the patellar network by anastomosing with the inferior lateral genicular artery. Then lastly, the posterior tibial artery give off the circumflex fibril branch to also take part in the patellar network by anastomosing with the inferior lateral genicular artery. So that was all I had for the popliteal artery and the genicular network, and I hope this was helpful.